This photo preamp retails for 89 American dollars. In this video, we'll look at the internals and estimate the cost of the parts. For prices, I will be referring to Moser.com and we'll be using the lowest price assuming large bulk orders. The price estimate here will still be on the high end as the audio company likely sources the manufacturing of the board to a third party with even lower prices. I chose this preamp in particular as it is of good quality, produces acceptable sound for the price range, and is pretty to look at. Let's pull off the top and take a look on the inside. There are six diodes which cost about 3 cents each for a total of 18 cents. 21 quarter watt resistors, and I'm assuming high quality 1% tolerance here, which cost about 6 cents each for $1.26. There are 10 Wema polyester film capacitors that have an average price of 15 cents, totaling $1.50. Ceramic disc capacitors cost 3 cents each for 9 cents. There are 8 smaller electrolytic capacitors with an average price of 6.5 cents each, adding uh, 52 cents. One larger 220 microfarad capacitor, which costs 20 cents. The regulator is 14 cents. The white LED bulb is 30 cents. And the NE553AP amplifier is 59 cents. The two RCA connectors are 50 cents each for a dollar. The board itself is 20 cents. You can order 10 PCBs from GLC PCB for $2, and they're making a profit on that. The most expensive part of the whole thing is the aluminum chassis, which is also the hardest part for me to price out, but my high estimate is $10. This brings the grand total to $15.96, which remember is a high estimate, but that should also cover the cost of design on the front end. For every one of these sold, the company is making $73, or a profit of 450%. On another note, I'm working on building my own preamp, but that's another video for another day. Thanks for watching.